Good morning, HHS. Today is Monday, March 2nd. Coming up on today's show, we have a package on TikTok, Interpreters Club, and the Valley Championship between Broadway and HHS. Good morning, Blue Streaks. I'm Chris Munoz, and this is your weekly news. Thank you for tuning in. For all the updates and new posts, subscribe to your YouTube channel down below. Julius O'Neill has a package on our famous Angelina Malashi and her rise to fame, as well as the time it takes for her to prepare before each TikTok. Angelina Malashi is a junior at Harrisonburg High School and has gained popularity on TikTok with 1.7 million followers. Whether it be just a regular look or a character that I'm making, sometimes the characters will go from two hours to four hours. Four hours, depending on what I'm doing. Um, if I'm doing like a dancing video, it'll usually take me like an hour to learn what it's about, and then it'll take me a few minutes to get it right and do a few takes. Sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. When I first started, there was a lot of makeup artists that I just liked, but now I'm just a solo, solo creator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very strange because now people know what my life is. It's public and people see what I do, so it's a lot, it's a lot harder to keep everything secluded. Um, he also gives kisses. Give me a kiss. And he can also ask for kisses. You want kids? You want to ask for a kids? Thanks, Julius. Good job on your first package. Okay. Scheduling for next year has begun, so it's time to start thinking about what classes you want to take next year. Check out your course selection sheet and think about your class options. And remember to join broadcasting. It's definitely a win. Um, Interpreters Club is doing great things, so don't forget to check that out. Here's Bala with more. I'm Marine Mohammed, and I'm a senior. I chose to um, join Interpreters Club because when I came here three years ago, I didn't speak any English, and now that I know English, I want to help people who are like me and can't uh, understand uh, and get a way to communicate with other people. The club, the way it works is we get a professional training and we then go to elementaries and middle schools for interpreting during parent-teacher conferences and maybe in other some other activities that we do with the club, for example, doing elective fair and in Valentine's Day we sell balloons and stuff like that. It's really good. You would feel so happy and uh, you would appreciate that you are bilingual, so I really recommend it. Um, I chose the club because it's a really interesting club that is offered at our high school. You don't really find this anywhere else. Um, it's just a group of students who are bilingual, trilingual, speak many languages, um, and they come together to like help our community and help the students around our school. So I chose it because it's really cool. I chose the Interpreters Club because I wanted to learn more English and get better in Spanish and also just learn more about it. Okay, what I enjoy about Interpreters Club is that I get to meet a lot of people that speak another language and I also get to meet Hispanic people that are kind of like in my same, same situation and I get to help also with Parent Teacher Conference Day. Thanks, Bala. And now let's throw it to Lizzie for more sports updates. What's up, guys? My name is Lizzie. The boys' basketball team won their first district championship since 2008 on Wednesday, February 19, and I was there to witness the dub. Broadway's 
going to come in here and want to beat us, you know. So we got to play good and hopefully we can get the championship. It was exciting. Like, we celebrated a lot with the team because it was like our first win since 2008, I think. So it's 12 years we haven't won in the Valley District or even been in it. So it's good to finally be back. It feels good. Like, we, we have a chance to be one of the first age groups that actually go there and can actually win in a long time. So, yeah. It feels good, yeah. Knowing that we can win a district tournament. We ain't had one in 12 years. It really made the game more, like, exciting because like, we were playing for something and, like, we were actually playing for something, I guess you could say. Because, like, a regular season game, it doesn't really matter because we were going to go on and do ours. But, like, with that game actually really, like, meant something because we were playing for a championship. Uh, it felt good. We, we had a, a great fan base. Everybody came out in support and we felt the momentum from them. Yeah, it was positive. It's fun playing in a big crowd like that. Um, a lot of people were there. I mean, it was a packed house and it's also has a really big gym and this, all the seats were full. So it was a good um, energy in the crowd and everything like that. Um, it's crazy, I guess. Good environment to play in. Thanks. It was real loud. Good job, Blue Streaks Ballers. All winter sports except for track are done, but spring sports such as soccer, softball, and others have started now. And that's all for sports. Thank you. Back to you, Emily. And for lunch today, we have the salad bar, pizza, and who knows what else. <laughs> that's it, Blue Streaks. That's all we have for you today. Make it a great day. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great weekend, Streaks. I don't like that. Goodbye, Blue Streaks.